Good morning. Ellen Campbell here with Camel Creation. How's everyone doing this morning? I'm trying to do a little sewing and I have taken off my mask, my uh, oxygen, because I want it to not be a permanent thing. I'm trying to take my deep breath, breath so I can uh, learn to breathe on my own. Okay, today I'm, um, I will be doing a little crumb quilting. Let me get that aim towards the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to thread this back. Mm -hmm. I had surgery on my hand in January, and I want to share with y'all today that it's actually doing a lot better, a whole lot better. Mm. So can I get this to go through this eye? This is an important message I just got, and I need to answer it, so. All right. I remember going out and purchasing me some bobbins just for this machine. This is my brother's. Oh, we got a darning button, a silk, a normal. Okay. This is an old one. I like older machines better. And... I know what I forgot to bring down. Hmm. Just doing a little crumb piece. Something that really minimized my movement. Finger press my little seams until I get it, I guess, as big as I. This is a small one I did, and I could add to it, but right now I'm going to sit it to the side. I'm just doing some little small stuff here. Mm. 
Yes, I'm doing tiny, tiny crumb pieces. Mm -hmm. They always get caught up in that foot. This machine is so, so good. <laughs> it's so very good. And I was blessed to find it at a thrift store for about 15 or 20 bucks. Wasn't much. And then I got a discount off of that. Like a, I think a 30% discount off of that. So I got it real good and cheap. I'm just taking my time to do this. I'm not in a big, huge hurry. <laughs> Press these seams with my finger. Pressing them open because they are tiny. And when I get enough, just find me a spot. Slap it on here. Mm -hmm. I lines everything up to a straight edge. I don't have to really trim like I'm trimming, but if it helps and it's a plus, why not? <clears throat> I have a lot of these little smaller squares here left from the poster stamp quilt. And I got so many things I got to get in the way, get out the way. I'm sorry. Get it out the way before my uh, big yard sale come up. I try to do a yard sale, I guess in October. It got some good power to it. I had to stop a little shy of the end, so if I need to add more to that, I can I can do so. Now go back and cut it and make it a straight edge. See how I made it straight edge? I can sew all the way out that edge now. That's all you're doing, using straight edges. Put these little small, tiny pieces together. It's black. I don't want to do black. Let's see. When I say scraps, <laughs> I got some scraps. Mm. I 
Open that up. Could be almost a square. Find me a straight edge on this. What side I want to use. Well, it'll be nice if I thread the needle once again. Yesterday was my birthday. It was beautiful. I thank everybody that showed up and participated and commented. Today is another day. The machine I really like sewing on. My senior 2404 needs to go into the shop, be serviced and seen. Um, I'm just not able to do that right now. Been on vacation for a month and then catches COVID and been in the hospital for a month. Stay there. I'm way behind on a lot of things. I need to um, seek out some help to organize my sewing space. I love to sew, but I can't really sew too good in a unorganized environment and I have been taking stuff out and moving stuff in and I have a few things others has given me that I need to organize. Mm. I'm having a time getting this needle threaded but There we go. It only do that when I can't see too good or something. <laughs> I'm going to sew this to the end here. Ain't that something? I'm going to get it sewed all up and go back and cut it up. Mangle it up. And the bobbin to this machine holds lots of thread, and I like that. Whoever got rid of this machine really didn't know what they had. It's a beautiful machine. From day one, it was someone. Day one. And I think right now I have something like maybe 10 sewing machines. And I have I have my preference of them. And my favorite machines are the older ones. I have an older senior. And an older Kenmore, and this brother, and my senior two, 
2404. I love sewing on that 2404, but I've been taking it to the shop and something come a loose in it. And I just stopped sewing on it because I didn't want to cause any more damage. Hi, M. Raya. Good morning. How are you? She's, you're so glad to see you at home and sewing. Thank God you're well. Take care of yourself. Thank you. I'm trying. I supposed to be on oxygen and um trying to wing myself or just take baby steps into preparing myself to come off of it. But I better stop and put it back on. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. That's much better. <laughs> um I have to bring a tank down here in the basement with me. So I don't be struggling for air. And thank you for watching um M Rise. M Rise. Let's see. I want to cut this. Let's cut it across here. Now. Lay it there. Let's cut it again. This is all I be doing, sitting here, sewing, especially when I'm by myself or just doing something to keep busy. Now, remember these one and a half inch strips for postage stamp? It was a scrappy, scrappy poster stamp. I'm done with the quilt top, but I had not quilted it yet. I was waiting because I thought of a friend that I might could uh, get the quilt it for me. But I'm um, waiting to uh, write down my measurements and stuff of it. I have so, I have quite a few quilt tops. I do need to get uh, quilted up. What's that folded? I'm making a big old boo boo. But that's all right. I got a bag I saved those little threads in. I mean, I just too much back there. Do I need to pick this or lose? I think I'm gonna pick it or lose. I'm not gonna cut that like that. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess I can start where I started. My lighting is so bad. I'm going to fix that too. Just got to have a few more days to feel a little bit more better.
I know uh so yeah is on the fabric seller. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I like watching them too. You got to have a little boundaries though. To know when to stop, like know when to roll them, know when to hold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. <laughs> but they have some amazing fabrics. I be watching them and sticking with their channel because they sell boutiques. I'm a fan of boutiques fabric. And, you know, I have to plan for my days and my purchases. The day I want to purchase me a bundle of batiks from them, at least a yard cut. Ooh, that'll be a major buy for me. And I hope it be like you get like maybe 12 or 13 different prints and colors in the bundle. Ooh, that just sounds so good. The color uh, range B, the color. I like purple. Purple is my favorite color. But I also like orange, green, yellow, and brown. Those colors together, which is like a fall warm color. And... I want to get some batiks in them fall warm colors. I want to do a quilt, see how it's going to look. I'm sharing with y'all this little rip in here because if I'm making mistakes, you'll make mistakes too. And I can't pull it. I don't have enough strength, I guess, to pull that on out. So I'll pick it out. Like I told y'all in my uh, description text, I have goals now. I have a dream that I got to fulfill. And it's because I desire it. And God tell us we should have our heart's desires. And I'm not going to give up until I accomplish that. And one of them is, you know, to get the school bus. I don't know, did it come to me in a dream like that? But I'm getting that school bus. I live and nothing happened. Because I can see so much potential in it. Majority of the school bus will be used for my fabrics and sewing machines and... I'm not going to try to put a lot on it at the moment because I don't even really know what I'm doing at the moment. But I know I got to do this and I got to have this to um, some type of survival point. Yeah, I want to be able to visit my sewing friends and quilting friends. And at the same time with the school bus. I could set up a tent or an honey or something and have like three or four sewing machines side up outside with a cutting table and I can allow other people to learn and sew from my machines. I could be teaching at the same time. And I'm not talking about teaching anything fancy. I'm talking about straight line stitching. You know, learning how to put two pieces of fabric together and sew. I have children that are interested and I'm getting started on it. Whether I have the school bus or not, I'm going in. I'm going in deep. I'm going in. Because I feel like, I don't know why people say they rather die and take their stuff to their grave. I don't want to take nothing to my grave but me when I go. <laughs> I'm sorry I bucked my eyes, but it's too much going on in the world already. I don't want to take none of it with me. None. 
just me. Let it be just me. And I hope I be clean enough for the Lord to say, job well done. I better not throw that away. I got so much stuff to do. I'm supposed to be someone every day, all day. I'm so far behind on what I was going to do and stuff I supposed to be made. I'm so far behind. These little threads going to become some stuffing for some pillows. <laughs> do anybody else save their thread? Let me know in the comments. Okay. I started sewing last time, wasn't paying attention. Okay, I got a little bit more of that now. That's an older machine. I know I probably should be using a thread catcher, but hmm. I'm just not using one right now. I had a few of them I made to be th thread catchers. Cute. Now, I cut that and I'm back to this. See the colors? Okay. Excuse me. I just love this pretty print with the sunflowers in it. I have scraps like, whoa. <laughs> Sometimes I even split these or cut them down just to get a little strip out of it and have another piece. To go back with. Like that. But you know. In sewing. And in piecing quilts. Pieces like this. You don't. You don't really have to trim them up. I'm just doing this because. I felt like I needed something to do with myself. I can't do what I want, so I do what I can. <laughs> Let me get that three at first. When I trim them up, I'm just cutting to get a straight edge to keep a straight edge on my uh, fabrics because you got to have a straight edge to do this. And it'll come out, turn out all kind of shapes, sizes. Now I put it back together. I get to cut it and add in more colors and put it back together. That open. Oh boy. I 
I guess I'm going to have to get my granddaughter. Uh, later on, we got a few items. We're going to do a few little uh, drawings for. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Just a few quilt pattern books. With uh, two or three maybe quilt designs. A few recipes up in there. And I found them at the thrift store, and I want to share. So later on, there will be a drawing. I'll be coming back with my granddaughter. So if you got any friends interested in stuff like that, do share. Share them one of my videos or this video here so they can see it will be a drawing. I just give away stuff. I know I have some more stuff that I want to give away, but they're going to have to wait because I'm still healing and I need to get everything prepared and laid out that I'll be giving away through the process or through this journey. Mm. Nice little corn. Okay. Now... Let's see, is this long enough? I really don't have any to spare. I don't spare. I'm sewing and... <laughs> I said talk a little cuckoo talk. <laughs> Not all of the seams I do that I press open or to the right or to the left is more like it. When, you, when I sew them like that, that kind of locks them in. Okay. And when you crumb quilting, it's okay. It's no rules, really. No rules. You just get to sit and have fun and talk a little cuckoo talk to yourself. <laughs> I call it cuckoo talk, but uh, it's sort of like when you had them thoughts said, oh, sew it this way, sew it that way. Look at that. I add it back. And all I'm doing is making a few crumb blocks that I will be putting in one of my quilts. I have all those blocks and different things I got for my birthday, so I gotta put them to use. Got to put them to a good use. I can't really let it slide. I gotta put it to a good use. I got Jesus on my side. I know it works when it seems so hard and dim. I know it works because he kept me. He kept me, kept me, kept me. He kept me. He brought me. Through some trying, trying times. Yes, he brought me through some trying, trying times. Oh, he brought me. Whoa. Through some trying, 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 trying times. Yeah. Woo. Well, at least he ain't take that away from me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. They said you don't lose it. You, If you don't use it, you will lose it. And I've been in this house worried about breathing. 
And when I start praising God and singing, hmm, his praise come out and it goes up. <laughs> This machine is fast to come on through it, but it's so, so amazing. So that little part don't bother me. I'll thread it back. It'd be nice if I trim the savage off. Savage. Then I'm putting it to here. Okay. In the gray. In the morning, fare thee well, fare thee well. In that great, great getting up morning, fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well. Oh, fare thee well. In that great. Great getting up morning. Fairly well. I'm just cutting mine and I'm making it and molding it into what I wanted to be, y'all. Uh, Oh, hi, Catherine. I'm so glad you could join me this morning. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's good to see y'all too this morning. I'm doing a lot better. It's just... After being laid up for so long, the last thing on my mind is laying down. And I'm in my favorite sewing spot. I got to... Uh, reorganize it get it straightened up i have more items and more tables and more sewing machines and more i just gotta get things organized i mean i gotta get it done because i have some children interested in learning how to do this my granddaughter is one she been sewing some on and off with me. I've been trying to teach her how to cut. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hi, June Hanson. I'm glad you could join me. She said, good morning, Ellen. Glad to see you sewing and singing. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad I'm able to sing and sew. Seemed like when I was laid up, that's all I could think about. It's all I could think about was, ooh, when am I going to get back to what I like to do? I was thinking about it, but then I thought, I said, hmm, God is not a God of disorder. Everything happens for a reason, even though I can't see the reason I need to learn to accept and slow down, take a pause.
Um, okay. I think that was just flashing. I'm doing a little crime quilting here this morning. Trying to make a few blocks. I don't know how many I might get actually get done. If I can get like maybe a good four made from the whole day, I'll be doing amazing. <laughs> I've been cutting down my pieces so I can have beautiful colors all over. Not just big chunks and hunks of the same print. And then I have this piece I had put together. And I got a strip in here on the edge. But, you know, you can pretty much do them the way you want to. I'm trying to get me some uh, blocks, some squares. And you got to have a straight edge to do them with. So hmm. I dropped that piece. I trimmed off this little purple blue edge to kind of get it, give it a shape. And I'm going to go back and line this piece on here which is gonna help and you can cut them and trim them the way you want to, to get the block size you need. You just keep going, keep measuring, keep going. Now, you still press them seams open, but I'm using my nails what little i do have and you can see that scene but i'm almost about to make a block now this edge here i could trim it off and use it to start on another one or something or uh, i think i will trim it i was gonna wait You see, when you trim them, your crown pieces, the little squares get smaller and smaller. See ya? It don't matter. You keep on going. Okay. I have another container somewhere. Hold on. I see it. Hold on. Lay that on me. It's not far from me, so I'm just going to grab it here. Actually, it's two of them. Okay. I have a whole lot of scraps. And I have a whole lot of items. I have a whole lot of items I need to be working on as well. I even have strip sets that I didn't use all of them from the poster stamp. Beautiful strip sets. I just save them. I wind up using them in something. And these are the smaller pieces. I have stuff in here. Oh, look at that. And it got Savage Edge on it. I put that Savage Edge in these crumbs, too. 
That's fabric. Um, uh, ooh, that's some pretty purple. Put some of this. All these scraps. Look at that. I got some big scraps up in here. Um, maybe I ought to come back to this. Oh, this my half block, y'all. I was doing the Cleopatra, and every time I would get here, this all I could get, this far as I could get on it. I said, mm, I must be bad dyslexia or something. I can't reverse the other side of the block. But I'm going to work with it. I'm going to work with it and I'm going to get it. Once I get that pattern, I'll finish that quilt. Mm. Set that over there. I found some goodies. So I could put a piece of strip, but a little whole strip or something. I can put a piece on this end with all these red colors. I just got to line this up. Can y'all see this little pink strip cut in between that? That's fabric. When you're crumbing, you take whatever crumbs you can get. Let me check my messages. Um, Joan says, I've been crumb quilting too. Then I am working on log cabin quilt. We'll lay out the log cabin, out today. See how big it is. I may want to make a bigger one. Yes. Those log cabins are very, very beautiful. Sometimes I have that issue. I need to catch my breath. It's the deep breath thing. You got to do the deep breath. If you don't do the deep breathing, it's just longer and difficult. So I trim off this side edge. I was going to run a whole piece of this, but this too much purple. Nah, that's way too much purple. <coughs> Y'all excuse me here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and um, run some of this purple. And then I'm going to go back and cut some of this purple down. It just goes to show you, you can add what you want to add into it and this is not something I'm just sitting down making a bunch of but I will over time because it's my go-to um, mood changer <laughs> type of someone. <clears throat> it's my go-to mood changer type of someone. And even though I want to finish this or I want to finish that, I just sit on down and enjoy my crumbing. Anybody else working on anything different?
<clears throat> yeah, that's better. I trim it down like that. Then I can start adding in. I think I'm going to lay this to the side for now. All this kind of need trimming down. I'm going to lay it down. Press that seam open. Yes. I got some more blocks, crown blocks, somewhere. <laughs> like I said, somewhere. I just um been sewing them up, and when I get through, I'll just stick them somewhere. Stick them in something. And see, look, this uh, uh, crumb piece already sewn together. Got a few uneven edges, but it's a beautiful crumb piece. I don't think I'm going to start. I'm not going to start it directly on the edge because of unevenness. Hmm. I need to lift. Okay. My thread, some thread got uh, caught in there. I'm trying to cut it where I can use the part that has enough. Has enough space. Could just sew this on down. Mm. Nice, very nice. I'm glad these bobbin holes a lot of thread. Okay, that was a piece. And here's a piece. Open it up and finger press. Mm, nice. I'll be coming back later this evening with my granddaughter, you all, and I'll be doing a drawing. I picked up a few items from the thrift store that was very nice, and I knew that I could share it. And I even left the tag on there, 50 cents. And there are nice quilt patterns that's in the book. So you'll be getting a whole book. And... I'll be coming back later with her for that this evening, this afternoon. So y'all just keep a lookout for me. I want to boost my sharing. I want to boost um, 
Well, I need to boost my subscribers too. So if you're not a subscriber, please like and subscribe. If you like anything I share or talk about, do subscribe. I would appreciate it. Maybe you know somebody that sews a quilt. You can share me with them. And who knows, if you're a commenter, you might can win something from one of these drawings I have from time to time. And you could just give it to them. That is so cute. Look, purple with the little scrap box. But I'm about to cut, and I'm wondering, how should I cut this? Hi, Teresa Louise. I'm so glad you could join us. Good morning. It's good to see you as well. Catherine. Oh, I missed one. I'm sorry. Catherine says, I'm working on a lap quilt for my daughter. She's been ill since February with COVID related health problems. She has another procedure coming up and I want her to have color qu colorful quilt for her lap. Oh, that's so beautiful. Any particular color scheme you working with, Catherine? Because you know I done had my experience with COVID too. And I totally, totally understand. And what's your color scheme? <laughs> I don't know what I have packed around here. I have everything in totes and well, I like my totes. They don't let anything fall out of place. But I have some more things. I have a cabinet. I got to get down here and get it organized. I have, I have, I, <laughs> I have a, it's so junky. I'm ashamed to show it. But here you go. Y'all get a sneak peek. Now this tree. Christmas tree been sitting there for a reason. Y'all, please um, don't talk about me too bad about this tree. I'll tell you right now. My sister put that tree up. And this always was my favorite spot because she used to live here. And she's deceased now. And since she passed away, it's hard for me to put her stuff, everything, all away. And <laughs> me and her had some laughs and some talk about that tree. And I told her, <laughs> I told her I don't like that ugly tree. And we've been laughing and talk about that tree. And when I look at that tree and I think about her, it just helped me to laugh and smile. And that's why that tree is still up. I haven't taken it down. But once I go into reorganizing everything, tree coming down. <laughs> it been up too long. It been up too long. I've been here now going on two years. And she been deceased now going on two years. So the tree will be coming down. But I got stuff in boxes. Oh, I'm sorry about the light. Let me see, can I hide And I have other stuff that I have to get put away. I haven't, I even got stuff behind me here. Like this long table is what I'm supposed to be quilting on and I'm not even using it, utilizing it. I have this side up for my little ironing and my little... Kenmore sewing machine. I just got stuff I got to move around and get organized. My sewing space look horrible. And I just need to organize it. I need 
I need to, actually, I need to feel better. Once I can feel better, get some strength, more than the little strength I got now, then I can come down here and rearrange, uh, move stuff and get it to her. I like building up. Like if I have shelves or something, I want them to go up because that's space too. I use space. And once I can get it up, then I have everything organized. I know exactly where I can go get certain things. I like knowing where to go get it. Uh, I even have these, uh, this wire with the little square holes in it. I have two of those. And... I was wanting those to hang on the wall. I purchased them when I was in Mississippi for two bucks, <laughs> two bucks. And a store was closing down and they sold them to me for two bucks and I got them because in the book, those, they 80 some dollars or a hundred and some dollars or a, a, a screen, a square. And I have two of them for $2. So yes. And let me check my messages. Okay. June's, huh? okay. The colors are yellow and green. Catherine said the yellows are, the colors are yellow, green, red. All their floor print. Okay. I'll look in my stash and I'll see what I have that I can share with you. Um, if you on F Facebook, it's we friends, or you can, um, where you can message me your shipping address so I can, uh, get some items together for you with the colors. Thank you. I'm under, um, just playing Ellen Campbell on Facebook and you will see that I have a uh, page that says Camel's Creation. So if you can connect with me some kind of way or I left my email I think in the description of this video, uh, if it not, I'll get back to you. We'll get together. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to just go ahead and post my email. That way you can message me. Okay. Oh, no problem. Thank you. It's no problem. That is my email address. Anybody that might need it, y'all go ahead, write it down. Um, I want to check out the yellow, the greens, and the red floor prints that I have and see what I can send you. Help out on your daughter's quilt. I try to tell everybody I come in contact with, COVID is no joke. Until, until you have experienced it and it has infect, affected you, you hear people say some of everything. And I'm not going to talk about it too much on here. I'm not. I'm just not. Because I learned people get mad real quick. They get mad real quick. You be wondering what you mad about. <laughs> I 
I'll be breaking off, starting these little uh, crumb blocks. And because it's my crumb block, and I'm doing them the way I better take that out. Ooh. Okay, here. Yeah. Look like I haven't caught me a hornet's nest on here. I'm going to have to open this up and look. Yes, I'm going to have to open this one up and look. Okay. I don't think I have anything to open this up with. Well, I found another crumb. <laughs> no. Hmm. It's actually clear. Okay. I don't have my little brush with me, so I don't have that one, but I should have. Mm. I keep some more other kind of paint brushes, the little small ones. Here's one. See, I keep more little paint brushes and stuff. To um, to make sure I, oops, I'm trying to pull the thread again. Keep it brushed out. Oh, there's something on here. I cleaned this machine up. I ain't been sewing with it. I try to prepare them so when I Return to sew. I could just sew. Okay. Hmm. I like these little old wooden latch hooks here. Like I told y'all, I be finding little goody stuff, and I found this one as well, like 50 cents. 50 cents. So I'm like, I'm a quilter. Even if I don't use it, if I got the, the money change on me, and I see a quilting book and it's 50 cents, I purchase it. Not because I can use it. I be thinking somebody else can use it. Like if I teach somebody to sew and they want a pattern and I have one that I can give away, here you go. Go make that. It's, it's a process. I like to encourage others, especially when it's come down to themselves. Uh-uh. I tell them, uh-uh. You don't give up on you. Not you. You can't give up on yourself. If you give up on yourself, who else going to want to help? Who's going to be the one to kick in and say, look, you can't give up on yourself. Even when I was sick, I couldn't do much, but I had a tablet. 
and I had a pencil and I was writing stuff down. I write it down. Look at that. Beautiful. This purple might be, re this a purple, and it's reading as a blue. But yeah, and I keep my salvages in it. This the only quilt that I know that you can really keep your salvage edge in it and use those. They are gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. I like Then I can take this piece and add it over here. I'm not going to cut it down this time because when I'm done, I might want to be cutting it, cutting it up anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me check my messages. Okay. Yes, I need to write those colors down, but I'm going to remember. It's yellow, red. Yellow, red. And green. Okay. I know I got some green. I got some yellow. Yeah, I got a little red too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have um uh I don't think I'm gonna send this kind of yellow, but see that's a yellow with Easter eggs and it has blue and green and I done had this. Oh my goodness. It's probably time to get rid of it, but I've been saving them, trying to put the little Easter eggs fabric together and hadn't made anything with them yet. But that's what I was talking about. I need to organize because I have some more, you know, the same with the eggs. But it's different in the prints. Different in the print. And I'm at the point now to where if I got something I can share, I'm going to share it. I don't mind. Because I don't want to be so cluttered, filled with things. I don't want to be overflowing and can share something and just don't do it because I can have it and it make my space look full or whatever, whatever the case may be. I don't have time for that. I got to make every moment count. I'm saying after, you know, catching COVID and surviving it, you're going to learn your cutoff points. You're going to learn your cutoff points because you got a second chance to do something a little better, to get it a little, you know, to get it right. And you know, a lot of times you can meet some of the sweetest peoples in the world. But when it come down to something they doing or something they into, you simply just blowing smoke because, mm. let me see, can I make that come back on? Excuse me here. Ooh. Knocking down some more crumbs <laughs> right here. Come on, I need that light. That's one of the lights I'm going to have to work on and fix because it works as if it have a timer on it or something. 
and then it'll go off. It's one of those fluorescent light. And it throw off good bright air. I mean, Lord, help me, Jesus. It throw off good bright light. I, I had purchased me a light from the secondhand store again, y'all. And it's a big, beautiful brass lamp. And it takes a bulb. The hole for the bulb is huge. It's so big. I went to Menards looking for a bulb that might will fit that hole, thinking that if I could find one, it'll be bright light down here. I couldn't find one to fit that. So I guess when I do go back, I'll be looking for a kit. I'll be looking to purchase a kit to uh, shrink that down. I'll be looking for that kit to change the sides of that uh, bulb that's in there. Um, these are some of the leftover squares from the poster stamp quilt that didn't quite have enough to make anything else with. And they are small, tiny pieces, so it's a scrappy one. Uh... On these here that I sewn, I'm just going to take my scissors. I guess I lay them up here to make sure I'm not cutting off too much. Just take my scissors and cut straight across. Look like I'm gonna need some more scissors. <laughs> okay, that's three pieces. And doing them in, when you're doing crumbs like this, you will have you can do three, you can do so many little blocks putting stuff together, trying to get a block this size. For you know it, you got like five or six start pieces here and you can take them all and sew a little bit on each one of them and put them together. You got a crumb block. I mean, this is relaxing to me. It feels good. Look at that. Even got some black I can put in here. Hmm. I don't want to just cut, but I can cut a little piece off. This thing in this way. Huh? A little piece in here. Find some more colors. Yeah, I didn't try no dark purple. Mm. Teresa says, doing okay, June. Okay. I'm glad to see everyone here with me today. I'm so glad to see everyone because I know it's been a lot of sickness and stuff going around and a lot of um, after COVID illnesses. 
And I tell you, it's something serious because even though I'm healing after COVID, I still have some issues like my blood pressure staying up real high, my um, insulin levels, ins oh, I'm not saying it right. My sugar levels in my body is staying high. And before COVID, I didn't have this, this issue. And I've been reading a lot of warnings where they say, you know, it's time to pay attention. Because once you get COVID, you don't know how it's going to affect you. You don't know how it's going to affect you. After laying up in the hospital for so long, I'm going to tell y'all, my legs was hurting. I couldn't really walk. I would get up and walk anyway. Even if I was leaning, I was bumping into the wall. I was, it's, it's a mess, y'all. It's a mess. But you hang in there and you do it anyway. Just do it. That's the only way I can tell y'all to uh, to fight this COVID thing. Don't give up. And another thing, I, I learned you can't stay in the bed. You be feeling so bad. You can't stay in the bed, though. You got to get out that bed. If you don't do nothing but set up in a chair. Because I know you already feel bad, but sitting in that chair going to help you more than that bed will. And the hospital I was in, they told me. They will tell you what you want to know, especially the nurses that working with you and helping you bathe and stuff. Keep yourself clean. They will tell you. My daughters, I have two daughters that worked in the nursing field. They will tell you too. Uh, they say, I don't care what you're going through, mama. Get out of that bed. We need you. Get out of that bed. And I said, okay, I'm up. <laughs> I had to video chat them, y'all. I had to video chat them. I'm up. How y'all doing? Because me and two of my daughters was sick at the same time and one of them had to be incubated and you know I'm in the hospital already too now I'm worried about my daughter so one of my daughters that didn't get sick or didn't get infected she created a group Yes, um, she created a group in Facebook Messenger where we can all talk to one another. I'm going to cut this one in half, the one I put that purple on. I'm just going to fold it, pick out a spot, and slice. Now, slice again. Then I have that little edge sticking over. I'm going to go ahead and trim that up a little. Not a lot, just a little. And then cut that black. And then I have this. I go ahead and trim some of the edges because you got to have a straight edge. Finger press these seams open. And by these being so small, it, I just press them open. It's not in a particular side. Then I have that. Now, I have these as well, which I can take and add to this, these other colors.
Just add them in. And if they still too big when you add, guess what? You crumb quilting. You can cut and cut and cut. Cut it down. But I'm going to tell y'all, when I did get a chance to see my daughter, I was happy. I was happy because I was worried about her. And I was in the hospital myself. I was at the point to where I was like, I can't do nothing for myself. I had to have help to use the facilities and everything. I'm like, I was in bad shape. Until you have experienced it for yourself, nobody can really tell you nothing about it. But once you experience it for yourself, it's too late then. The thing is, it's to, it's to not get it in the first place. Because when I got it, I was on my home. I was on my way home to get the vaccine. I was going to take the shot. And guess what? Didn't make it back for the vaccine before I came close to it or something. That's not a good feeling either. You're like, oh my goodness. That's all I could say. I'm like, is God trying to tell me something? I was trying to get this vaccine and here I'm already exposed. If it ain't a warning, it's something to tell you to pay attention. Keep your eye open. Uh, okay. What y'all got under y'all needle this morning? I'm just crumb piecing because it makes me feel good. I get to sew it together, and if I want to, I can chop it up. Mm. Chop it up, cut it all up, and start it all over again. Was gonna come out. As soon as I start sewing, it will come gonna come unthreaded. So I cut that, and I put these here together. Let me. I have some of the little wooden presses you can get from uh, T quilts. They work wonderful. Um. But I'm using my fingers to uh, finger press. Yes. Um, Teresa Louise was saying, amen, sister, a wake-up call. Yes, it's a wake-up call. I was wanting this vaccination. I wanted the shots. But on my way, before I can get back home, I had already been exposed. And... I said, I guess that's God's way of telling me I need to look out for me. I need to be mindful of my surroundings. I need to just pay attention, pay more attention. A lot of times we miss out because we don't pay attention. I just love this color in this fabric. I'm going to put some more on here. And it scared me so bad. I'm like, I can't afford to have COVID. It going to do me so bad. It might even kill me. But guess what? 
The world is full of people the same way. The world full of people that can't afford to catch it and ain't been vaccinated. I mean, the only way to combat it is everybody get the vaccination. We all get vaccinated, then this will disappear like a hot cake with some good old syrup on it. I mean, before a ne another strand, a new strand, and then as, as it start growing and producing new strands, and then the uh, companies got to come up with booster shots. I mean, it's more, but I'm like, I'd rather have the booster shot. I'd rather. I sure do. <laughs> I'd have made my decision. I wouldn't wish this on nobody, nay a person in the world. Not, not one. That is so cute. I like that color. Y'all like this flower color at the top. I like that color. I'm trying to mix everything up a little bit to get me some nice blocks. Okay. I see this is not going to uh, go all the way down, so my fix for that is don't sew it all the way down. Stop and for enough time to um so i'll be able to add into it hi catherine says you are speaking the truth yes because there are older peoples out there, older than I am, has already have health issues. And when they come in contact with something like this, it wipes them out. It wipes them out. It's like a purge. The country is facing a purge that is getting rid of people without, without, um, the necessity of doing it a different way and is linked to maybe um, terrorism in the country. Now, they done plead and cried out to us to get the vaccine, get vaccinated because it'll help. Uh, did I lose my piece? It'll help get rid of. Get vaccinated because it'll help you stay safe if you be exposed to the virus. And I'm going back and get the vaccination. I sure am. Sure am. They have a process in the hospital now. So once you become exposed that they can treat you with uh, some type of transfusion. It's like a speedy way of putting the antidote into your body so your body can start making its own antibodies against the virus. And I was like, well, well, look at that. I didn't get the transfusion. The doctor, I heard the doctor talking about it. I remember him talking about it. But everything went south. Uh, that's all I did was remember him talking about it because it didn't happen. He said something about, well, you're doing good. You don't need the transfusion. Your body is already uh, building up antibodies against it. Oh, okay. 
So now that left me just laying there waiting to get better. So guess what? I'm going to get my shot. I ain't going to be second guessing. Am I covered? Am I okay? They told me I have to wait a few months, but they tell that to somebody else over their life. When I get my strength back good enough, I'm going to get that vaccine shot because I know I need it. And I know now that it is a required, it's a required um, item that I need. I'm going to get it. I'm not going to wait around. That's a black. Nice. Put this together. Some people, they listen. They go by whatever the doctor tell them. But they forgot to think for themselves. Like, oh, yeah. It's my body, right, that I'm giving a loan to to protect and keep healthy. And first chance I get, I'm going to try to keep this body protected and healthy. I keep thinking I'm sewing on my jukey. I'm reaching for a button. Them jukies, they'll spoil you. But these older machines, oh, I just like them so much. That look like it got a curve. Okay, this one kind of looked like it had a little curve in it. But see, it getting bigger. It's almost, mm, I don't have my measurement item. Let me grab something else. Ooh. Well, this is a seven and a half inch, seven point five ruler, and this block have some left. Oh, <laughs> maybe I hold it like this. See, I got to put a little at the bottom there, but I almost have a 7.5 inch square of crumbs that I can just put together and set to the side. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to set it to the side so I can get me enough to do what I'm trying to do. Then after that, I'll take them over to my ironing table. I'll starch them down. Spring, I make my own star child. It's easy and I love it. And then when I make it, I put I put a little bit of uh one of these little mist sprays in it. I don't know if you can read that. I just put very little of this in it and I mix it all up, shaking and stuff, so it won't have I won't get that sour smell or that fresh smell. I, I can't deal with it like that. I said, I'd rather use this, put this in there, and then when I'm finished with the quilt, I go back and put it into a wash. Get all that out of there. But yes, I get these little um, body sprays here like this, and I just put a little into my starch, and 
I have two kind. I just get them and set them up there. I have about five or six bottles of them right now. But I just like this. This is so cute. You can see the writing on the on the um salvage edge. That's cute. Now I need to get these pieces here back to the front. Lay that to the side. And put this back on its shelf. I use a folder rack to hold my ruler. And again, that's something I found at the secondhand store. Ooh. Hi, is that Kiva? I can't pronounce your name. K E V M R T H. Hi, hi, how you doing? Huh? Okay. K E V M. Keep them. Glad to see you too. Thank you. Hi, Mary. Um, huh? Okay. Okay, thanks. That's my youngest daughter. She been helping me. She's on her way out and she was letting me know. She was leaving something for me up there. But I thank God for my children. They came through for me. They came through for me. I was at a point to where I was wanting to come home. And when I got home, I couldn't do nothing for myself. And... It's a hard slap in your face. I'm going to tell you, you're going to wake you up big time. you like, oh, I'm at home. I'm sick. I'm feeling bad. But I was doing good enough to come home and to be tested, retested, and then released. And my children came through for me. I tell them all, I said, look, I'm laying in this bed. I can't get up. I can't walk. I need some food. My baby was like, okay, ma. And she got on her phone. You know, they got the DoDash thing where you can get food and it'll get delivered to your door. Okay. I had food sitting in my door. <laughs> All I had to do was make it downstairs to the food to get it. And once I got it, I'm looking up 15 flights of stairs. I got to go back up. I think the second day I was home, I went up and down the stairs four times. And I was like, wow. When I thought I couldn't do it, God said I could. And I did it. Yes, I'm feeling good enough to soar. So... I mean, that's all been on my mind is sewing and thinking and sewing. And then my birthday came and I had the birthday blocks and it was so exciting. I mean, if you're going through anything, anything, do what you love to do. Do what you love to do. Find a way to do what you love to do. It gives you a feeling that you can't replace with nothing else but love. <laughs> That's all it is, a feeling of love and excitement and support and encouragement. Every turn, every turn. Uh, June said, that is nice of her. I had home health, but I'm almost off of it. Bless her heart. Thank you, God. 
you did it. Yes, he did, June. He's doing it for us. I'm telling you because I have home help right now. And all of this is due to COVID. You get home health. And when you think of home health and you 26 years old uh, trying to heal and fight against COVID, think about it. You're 26. You caught COVID. And now you can't walk. You got to learn to walk all over again. You've been hospitalized or you've been in your bed way too long. And you learning to get up and move about. And you can't really walk. You can't stand to cook. You can't really do much for yourself. You slacking a little on bathing and hair combing and stuff like that grooming yourself it don't feel good it's a strong slap in the face you know go get that vaccine go get that vaccine that's what it say go get it because this COVID is no joke people be Posting their videos, trying to share and tell you what they went through. No one, no one knows until they experience for themselves. But if you got a friend out there and going to sit down and talk to you and tell you that I had it, I went through it, I experienced it for myself. I'm not telling you what Jane said. I'm not telling you what Martha said. I'm not telling you what John said he went through. I'm telling you what I experienced for myself. And it's a bad spot to be in. I mean, everybody's grown. They're going to do what they want to do. But from my experience, I beg, I plead. I plead other people for their life to go get the vaccine. Go get it, because this thing is nasty. You, I had to learn how to walk. I couldn't, I could walk a little, but I couldn't walk as in walk good enough to take myself to the doctor. I didn't want to risk falling down. Then I'm outside on the ground, can't get myself up, and I'm already weak. My body's too weak to get myself up off the ground. It's a feeling that you don't want to experience. It's a feeling that you don't want nobody else in your family to experience. So if you can protect you and your family, why not share it? I'm sorry I'm talking about COVID, but I'm going through it. I'm going through it. And I know I have some more friends that's going through it and experience it and by us being sewers and quilters and a community that we can talk to one another, go get that vaccine. Please go get it. Because I didn't know I was, I didn't know if I was going to come out of ICU. And all the time I was there, I was on the COVID unit ICU. They have a whole ICU unit just for the COVID. It's just that serious. Some people make it and some don't. And I had a nurse to tell me, she said, you're very blessed. She said, we have people come in and they don't make it back out. She said, but you're going to be all right. I can look at you and tell you're going to be all right. And when she told me that, I was like, she been working here long enough to know. So I kept fighting and I kept getting up out that bed. I kept asking them, let me sit on side the bed. Let me sit in the chair. I wanted to do anything but lay on my back. Anything but lay on my back. Let me check my messages a minute. Um, okay. Oh, I wish I could pronounce your name. K-E-V-M-R-T-H. Is that Kamara? It's a combination of my kids named Kevin and Martha. 
Oh, okay. June says, that is nice of her. I had home health, but I'm almost off of it. Bless her heart. Yes. And Teresa Louise, I love to quilt too. Say, hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. I can't see a Mary. Can you comment something, Mary? It's nice to have you on my channel. If you're not a subscriber and like anything that I may be doing or have shared in the past or the future, please subscribe. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, I didn't know how long I was going to be on this video, but later this afternoon, my granddaughter will be coming back with me so we can do a small drawing for some quilting books. And I think it's two or three of them. And it's just something nice to share, you know. I say I'll be doing it more often. They like 50 cents a book, but once I run across them, I get them and I try to share them. I don't need all the books for myself because I'm not going to make all of it. I said I do my best to share what I can share. Certain quilt patterns and designs and stuff. I like trying new things and different things. But I can't share them all. Try them all. So I'll share with you guys. Uh, Teresa Louise was saying, it's the same with the flu and pneumonia. A lot of people die every year from it. I really think we will have to get the COVID vaccine every year, too. Well, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking once you get the vaccine, I think our scientists and researchers are smart enough to come up with a booster shot. They might give a booster shot, and they might call it a COVID booster shot. And once a year, you might have to go get a booster. So... It's just a thought or an idea. They might do something like that. But the pneumonia is something terrible. They have a shot for that. The flu is something terrible. And they most of the time they used to tell you, you have to wait the flu out. You just have to wear it off. But then they came up with the vaccine where if you can get vaccinated for the flu, then you won't really catch the flu because you already have built up antibodies in your system that'll fight it off. And I'm like, oh, that's a good idea for a diabetic. A diabetic need to fight off everything they can fight off. We don't need nothing else compromising our immune system. And after um, testing out where I can come home, with this COVID, my skin just broke out. And I know y'all can see all this stuff in my face. Get a little closer. My skin done broke out in all these little uh, bumps, blackhead. Uh, it seems like a rash or something. Just breaks out all over you. And then, you know, you have the issue with your tongue where you lose your taste and when they say you lose your taste, you got to wait months and months for this taste to come back. You got to wait. This taste thing got to heal too. And then I read somewhere where it said it messes with your thyroid if you have thyroid problems and stuff like that. There's a lot of things you got to look at when it comes to COVID. It messes with a lot of stuff. It affects a lot of stuff. Um, Let me... <laughs> oh, okay. Teresa was telling me that Mary is a uh, key, uh, the name I can't pronounce. 
Okay, I, is it okay? I just say Mary then, okay? This is a crumb block. I done trimmed down. And now I'm going to fold it. Because I'm going to cut it like this. So I fold it. Get it straight. Okay, I got it like this. And I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm just going to cut it. And I do this every once in a while so I don't have them big bulks of colors. Now I have a couple of strips. I can either tie them together. Tie them together like that. Well, it'll be a little bit longer, which I think I will. Okay. This machine so, so smooth and so quiet. I just really couldn't see why somebody would get rid of a beautiful, well taken care of brother sewing machine. Like this. And then I was blessed to purchase it at the thrift store for about 15 or 20 bucks. And then I got a 30% discount off of that. And this machine just <laughs> makes me want to hug it. It don't so zigzag or anything. But it's a nice machine. Okay. Okay, Teresa, Louise, thank you for coming. You have a good day. I want it on this side here. I'm so glad I get to meet and chat with y'all today. As I do a little crumb piecing. I have been feeling so bad. So weak and so sick. But all while, while I'm feeling this and going through this. Uh-oh. Guess what? All I could think about was someone <laughs> being sick and someone. Ain't that something? My mama must knew I was going to be a sewer or something. She knew how much I enjoyed helping her make quilts and piece them and sew them. I used to sew them blocks so fast for my mama. She couldn't really understand a sewing machine. And she went purchase a sewing machine and didn't know how to use it. I wind up being the one to use it. I had to oil it. I had to clean it. Actually, by me being young, I didn't know what I was doing, but I sat there and I took that machine apart. And when you sit there and take it apart, that's pretty much how you learn your machine. You take it apart and you clean it. If I can get that little piece to come through. I got some needle threaders down here with me, but hmm, I might have to pull out one. Ooh, I just had to get where I can see the hole, I guess. I got to try to get me some more sewing machine needles, too. I like ordering ordering them from, um, what was I working on? Right here. I like order them, order them, ordering mine from uh, sewing machine parts online. That way I can tell them exactly what I want and what I need. 
and they automatically, okay, we got it, or how many would you like? I like getting, um, I, I need to get me a set of, um, let me do that come out of, um, they got some good steel ones that you can purchase made with some, um, it's made with, I don't know, it's, I forgot y'all. It may with some type of metal that is strong. And I need some of those needles. I get the organ needles. For some reason, I like those needles. They don't give me much trouble. And I need some needles. I have blue jean fabric. Um, I don't know if you can see this uh, blue container. Let's see. That blue container right here. It's full of nothing but blue jean fabric where I went to a Goodwill, I'm thinking, where they sell the items or clothes by the pound. And I purchased a lot of blue jean pants. I got like blue, blue, blue jeans. I got white jeans. I didn't get any red jeans or colorful jeans because you're not going to find many of those. But the blue and the white, I will get them and I'll cut them up to the fabric that I'm going to need to make a blue jean quilt. And I put them in this container here. And I do have some more blue jean item somewhere that I have to put in there and I will get it done sometime or another but yeah I like uh getting those getting them uh put into storage to make sure I have enough before I begin a project and that's a pretty big container Okay, Mary, have a good day. Thank you. Mary says she's need to leave too. She gonna go and bye, Teresa. See y'all. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate. I'm gonna get on off of this live too. I've been on a while doing these crumb blocks, so. I can just continue, make more. But uh, y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching. Do hit the subscribe button. If you like anything in my videos, a lot of times we get on a topic, go to talking, and I appreciate everybody that participate and talk or speak your mind. You know, speak your mind. You're going to be who you are. You are who you are. You was created perfectly to be you. Do share my video. Do like and subscribe. Have a blessed day. Bye.